Hi everyone, Tao here. Samsung did good this year by pre-installing screen protectors on all their S10s. I mean, it does a job, but many prefer the feel of glass protectors, myself included. If you're prone to dropping your phone, glass screen protectors will provide an extra layer of shadow protection. There's been a lot of controversy over whether glass screen protectors will actually work with the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor on the S10 and S10 Plus. Whew, that was a mouthful. Well, in front of me, I have a tempered glass screen protector from White Stone Dome, who claims to have the only one that's compatible. I do have the White Stone Dome glass screen protector on both my Pixel 3 and Note 9, and I like to think that I'm pretty good at installing them. Mind you, if it's your first time, it can be a little confusing, so I highly recommend you familiarize yourself with all the steps before you start. In terms of price, it is a little pricey, but based on my past experience, they're the only ones that seem to work well with Samsung's curved display. Does it actually work? Well, let's put it to the test and find out. Let's go. All right, so I'm just gonna unlock my phone a few times using the fingerprint sensor so you guys can get an idea how fast it is before I install the Whitestone Dome glass screen protector. I almost forgot, make sure your phone is powered off and that you're working on a flat, even surface and do not work under direct sunlight and make sure the room is not dusty. So other than that, let's get back to it. First thing first, wipe off the surface of your smartphone screen using the provided alcohol wipes and cleaning cloth to get rid of any dirt or debris. Then place your device into the bottom alignment tray. Make sure your phone is securely in place by pushing down on all four corners of your phone. Now, using the dust removal sticker, stick away to remove any dust that may still be on your phone. Then, grab the speaker masking tape and stick that directly over the speaker of your phone. This is to block any adhesive from seeping through. Pick up the top tray and insert the removable black tab into the slot near the top. Next, you want to take the black position bridge, place it over the tray and into the provided slot. Now you can grab the tube of adhesive and open only the colored ended cap and place it into the opening of the bridge. Once in place, remove the cap on the other end to release the liquid adhesive onto the phone's screen. For this part, you can wait for about 30 seconds for all the glue to pour out and gently remove the bridge entirely. Grab the tempered glass screen protector, peel off the protective film on the side labeled 2 and place it right over your phone's screen. Just make sure the tempered glass sits on top of the removable black tab. Now this is the part where you want to be careful. Press down on the bottom portion of the tray. The glue will slide down towards the center. The moment it hits the tempered glass, pull away the removable black tab to allow the protector to drop down onto the phone. Give it around 2 minutes for the local glue to spread. Next up, we're going to need to cure the glue. So grab the included UV light and cure 15 seconds of the top half of your device, then the bottom half. Remove the speaker masking tape and with the alcohol wipes, wipe off any adhesive or residue around your phone screen. Make sure that you thoroughly clean around the camera cutout and as well try not to dig under the screen protector when wiping along the edges. Finally, you can remove your device from the tray and lay it flat on the table. You need to cure it again, but this time around 60 seconds on the top and 60 seconds on the bottom. I like to cure mine for a little bit longer just to be safe. Now you're all done. Here's the result of my installation. I'm pretty happy with the install. I was worried that the local glue was spread over the camera cutout, but it actually spreads around it. Just make sure to wipe off any glue that might have spilled over. Before we begin the test, Whitestone Dome recommends that you re-register your fingerprints after attaching the dome glass. So let's go ahead and power this on and test that out. Power on this puppy and just sit and wait and let it do its thing. So as you can see, I'm registering it perfectly fine. Unlucky speed feels just as fast. I unlocked it like a million times just to make sure it works. The screen protector feels amazing. It seriously feels like you're interacting with the phone's actual display. 
As mentioned earlier, I've used the white stone dome screen protectors before, and if I have one complaint, it's that it tends to collect dust and dirt around the edges. So my advice to you is that make sure you keep your phone away from dusty environments for at least a couple of days while the local glue fully sets. Not a deal breaker though. Anyways, if you're in the market for a tempered glass screen protector for your Galaxy S10 or S10 Plus, the white stone dome is the only option for now but I can confirm that it's fully compatible with the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. As usual, thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, peace. Bye.